Hello everybody and welcome back with another video and today I'm here to review Star Wars Hunters. I know the game just came out yesterday but I kind of want to put my thoughts on it and give it a good decent review and I know a whole bunch of people haven't played it yet or if you have played it then well, it might be a decent way just to put my review on it because the game seems pretty decent for the most part um, it's pretty cool I like it it's kinda like Overwatch and Paladins but way better and the more you play it the more you get good it seems like an easier version you get heroes you unlock heroes for free you unlock all of them for free honestly the gameplay wise it does need some work on it um, it it has a little bit it's an iffy gameplay most of the heroes are not that good especially the ones that heal in this game um, it's it's a great game it's not bad it just needs some little bit of tweaking with some of the heroes I only played the one that you start off in the tutorial because that was my favorite one playing um, overall thoughts on this game is it's pretty cool um, you get to earn cosmetics for your characters for free you get free stuff for daily logins you get free stuff for doing quest events and stuff like that it, it's pretty it's a pretty good game to earn free cosmetics It's way better than the other games like overwatch Paladins, and everything and you get free stuff in the store just like a mobile game and it plays like a mobile game it has a little bit of I wish I wish it goes on other consoles I wish it came out on other consoles like Xbox Series X and S and PS5 because I don't want it to just be stick to mobile and Nintendo I get Nintendo but mobile I get also but I wish it came out on other platforms so people can uh, have a little bit more variety if they don't own a switch they can just get on PlayStation or Xbox and play it um, the other thing that I want to go over is going playing with bots and after you play a couple matches with bots you go into real players I kinda don't like that idea of play matches with bots and then goes into real players I kinda don't like that aspect because I think it makes it way more too much easy and how can you tell if they're bots or real players I wish it tells you an indicator of things like hey you there it's real it's bot you know have like different sections on the scoreboard of like real bot you know it, it will make it a lot more easier for players to indicate oh I just defeated a bot I ooh I I'm attack I just defeated two player real people and whatnot it's all the same thing it, it's also um it's also to indicate all players they know what they're doing they know what they're expecting and all that kind of stuff for hunters honestly I like it the aspect where you can unlock hunters for free and do like a hero uh, hunters path or whatnot to unlock a whole bunch of heroes and whatnot I like that idea you gotta play a couple games or tokens and you can unlock all the heroes for free by doing certain amount of stuff um, another thing is that if you that some of the cosmetics in the store are kind of cool honestly you get to earn cosmetics just like I said in the beginning of the video you get to earn cosmetics you get the store you get to and I like it how you don't have to spend real money on most of these things you can use your your purple crystals your credits and all that kind of stuff for cosmetics and I think that's a good way to put it on as but for certain cosmetics I think it's kinda not cool of putting real money into this game since it's free I mean I know it's like cheap like two dollars three dollars five dollars six dollars 
for cosmetics in this game it's just not how I would put it in the game and whatnot and most of the cosmetics that you want are locked behind real money or and it's hard to get crystals and whatnot and the crystals are expensive and people don't really play this game that much if if it's if it's for you and you play it a lot yeah you can spend real money on it but if you don't really play it and you like the cosmetics you might have to stick to the crystals and the credits aspect and I don't really like that honestly I feel like you shouldn't have spend real money in this game I think it's everything should be crystals and credits and you earn way more credits than crystals I think you should just buy cosmetics with your crystals or most of your credits that you earn because how are you gonna get most of your crystals because it's so slow and most of the cosmetics are locked behind the crystals and there's not very many credits you can spend since they're all most of them are locked behind crystals but the events daily rewards are kind of nice you get to earn crystals stickers cosmetics once you go down the line of all of them you can do everything you can earn stuff you can all that kind of stuff or badges I don't know what the stuff is I think they should do a little bit more better with this game I think launching it on more platforms will be nice I think um, if they launch it on more platforms I think the game will be more successful and people don't have to go out of their way to buy a switch or download it download it on your phone because I think people most prefer console wise games because it helps bring out the graphics you know the graphics in this game are all right I wish they could have done a little bit a tiny bit more better with the graphics I expect I just hate to see this game fall through in a dark hole where it's not succeeding and by the way the arena pass I, I kind of don't like the arena pass for like the battle pass because people don't really play it often to uh, to get the arena pass I think if this is a free game and there's and there you have to spend real money in the store I feel like the battle pass should be free um for the first two seasons and then if you want to play a whole bunch you can buy a whole bunch of other seasons it's just paying real money for this game and it just came out as basically it should be doing well and it's already on the top of the board on your phone in the app stores which is good but for console wise for a free game I don't think this game will be getting a game of the year uh, a game of the year in my opinion because I don't think it's the time to release a Star Wars game when summer game fest is, is here in a few days or weeks because I don't because people are struggling with the heroes and whatnot they need to buff Zaina however you say her name they need to puff her health and because her abilities are not that great I think they should they should balance some of these heroes if you haven't played all of those heroes then when you get to that chance when you play some of all the heroes I think they should buff or nerf some heroes because they will be too OP not that great you know especially for the healing ones you need to buff them up and give them a little bit more damage to their weapon not make them OP just give them a little bit more damage honestly and other than that I think this game is kinda great I don't think it's more of a game that won't succeed in the future I think it'll I think people will play it just off and on because they always they got other great Star Wars game out there I'm not saying this is a bad Star Wars game that came out it's like Battlefront 
the previous Battlefront games and I think it's it's a great game I'm not saying it's bad it's a great game for mobile on switch I think it should release on Xbox and PlayStation to give it more revive more give it more a variety for players to play and and I hope and I wish it's cross play because if it's not cross play then I don't think people will play it because yeah because if you play it on your phone you don't play with your friends on Xbox I think this should this game should be cross play honestly and if it is cross play so let me know down in the comments down below because I'm wondering if it is cross play and I'm not seeing it so it's more of a thing that I would like to enjoy if this game is cross play and would love to see a cross play Star Wars game um, like Battlefronts are not cross play and whatnot. I don't. It's more of a thing where people need cross play games more than just a one standalone game because more of a standalone game and not cross play, people will lose interest in it and their friends can't play with each other if they're on mobile or Switch or Xbox or PlayStation. I think the more you make crossplay games like Star Wars like Battlefront I think it gives it a chance to succeed in a game if it's crossplay so if you guys are not understanding what I'm saying is put this game as crossplay release it on more platforms so it can succeed in a way where this game can add a little bit more player aspect and and don't release a game where you have to play five to six matches with bots and then go into real players because that's not how people want games to be now and nowadays it takes four to six years to make a game and to release the game so I kinda don't like the aspect of playing against bots three to four matches in the game I think I think that's kind of silly and I think that's kind of stupid and dumb but other than all this game is kind of fun for some people who might enjoy if you're a Star Wars fan um, it's kind of like Overwatch and Paladins but way more easier in my opinion but I think you will get a hang of it and people will live stream it on YouTube and just get it out there you know have people get into it but for my opinion if you're not liking the aspect of playing fighting bots three to four matches in a game before you can fight real people I think there should be an indicator on the scoreboard of real people or bots and you know like how many real people you shot down or how many bots you shot down I think that will be a really good indicator in this game but other than that thank you guys for so much for watching so, thank you for so much for watching this video and if you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, leave a like, and leave a comment down below. And what are your thoughts for this game and how you would approach this game and how would you make it better and whatnot. So thank you guys for so much for watching. This is my Star Wars Hunters review and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out everybody.